You can create your own custom multi-level list styles and link to Word's built-in styles or styles you've created yourself. Modifying the link style will in turn change the formatting attributes of your numbered list. Let's start by creating our list style. Start with a new document and make sure that you click once to make it active. Then from the Home tab in the Paragraph section, on the top here, the third button over, if you hold your mouse over it, you'll see a tooltip that says Multi-Level List. Click on the down arrow next to it and then go down to Define New List Style. And we're going to give it a name. And the name of this is going to be Articles for Class. We're going to select only in this document and then Format and Numbering. Then click on the More button. Most of the time, this is the first thing you want to do in this box. As you can see, there's a whole lot more underneath of More. We're going to apply heading levels 1 through 6. We have 9 levels available here, but we're going to only use the first 6. You don't have to use all of them. With our level number 1, we're going to link to Word's pre-built heading style 1. Heading 2 will be linked to level 2. Level 3 will be linked to Heading Level 3. And we're going to go all the way through 6. So let's continue on. Here's Heading 4. We'll go to 5 and apply Heading 5. 6 will be, guess what? 6. So we're done with that. Now you may have noticed that in your preview, it has the heading styles next to each one of your levels. What we need to do is, down at the bottom, it says Enter Formatting for Number. What we're going to do is go to Level Number 1, and Level Number 1 is going to say Article. You want to click in front of this Number 1. The Number 1 is shaded for a reason. It means it's a field code, so you don't want to delete that. And you're going to type in, in front of that field code, that shaded area there, Article. Put a space in, and where it says Numbered Level for this Level, those need to be Roman numerals. Right now it says 1, 2, 3. So click on the down arrow. Here's your Roman numerals. But look at the other choices that are available in this box. You've got A, B, C, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 1, 2, 3. If we keep going down, you'll see bullets. And you'll even see picture bullets. So you can do all kinds of things. And you can mix and match. You can have numbers and bullets in the same list. But we want to use Roman numerals. So click on the Roman numerals. And we want to get rid of this closed parentheses here after Article 1. So go ahead and do a backspace to get rid of that. And we're going to change the font. We want it to be bold in all caps. So go over here to Font. And we're going to click on All Caps. And we also want underneath the font style for it to be bold. And click on OK. So our Article 1 looks pretty good up here. You also have this alignment. All this information that's down here is to align your levels. You also have set for all levels. And take a look at this. It's got bullet number position for first level is at zero, text position for the first level, and then additional indents for each level. And these are set up correctly for us, but be aware that you can change these. Just click on OK. And then we'll go to the second level. Our second level needs to say, Section 1.1. So go in front of the A, the shaded area, remember not to delete it, and type in Section and a space. And instead of an A, we need the number 1. So go down to Number Style for this level and click on the number 1. Get rid of that extra parentheses and type in a period for a point. So now it says Section 1 point. We also need for it to say 1.1. We can't choose one again from here. It won't allow us to do that. So what we need to do is use what's called legal style numbering. So put a check in this box over here and you'll see how it works. What we want to do is include level from level 1. And click on it and you'll see it says 1.1. .1. And we need another point, so just press the period. And there you go. Level 3, it needs to say 1.1.1 1 point, 1 point, 1 point. So what we're going to do is use our legal style numbering again. The very first number we're going to grab here from this number style for this level is going to be the number 1. 
And then over here, we're gonna do legal style numbering again. Under include level number from, click on the down arrow and choose level one. And we need a point, so type in a period. We're gonna get rid of that extra parentheses and type another period. And then we need one more one point. So we're gonna go back to include level number from and choose level number two and put in a point. So now we have one point, one point, one point. Level number four is a little bit easier. It says number one, we need it to say A. So from your drop down list, find the little A's. The parentheses are fine, so we'll leave that alone. Go up to level five and level five's numbering is going to be a little Romanette or a little I. So find the little Romanettes and click. And you've got the little I's here. Level six, click on it. It's going to be the number one. So click on your drop down, choose the number one, and we're done. So if you look up in our list, it's all nice and neat up here. We're done, we could just click on OK and OK again. Open up your style pane. And you'll see here's Article 1, it's got Heading 1 next to it, Section 1.1, Heading 2 is next to it. We're gonna type in dog for Article 1. So just type in dog. And we're gonna go over to the style pane and choose Section 1.1 over here. And we'll type in cat and press enter and we'll choose level number three. There's our 1.1.1. We can just type in mouse and press enter. Level number four, we're gonna type in frog and press enter. Level number five here, we'll type in bird and it's looking good. We have level number six. That's as far as we went. You could type in rabbit here just to see what it will look like. Notice that heading number seven also shows up. We didn't define that one, so it just kind of looks normal as it is, the regular old heading style number seven. You can create your own custom multi-level list styles with associated link styles. Because of the fact that they're based on styles, you have the ability to modify and redefine as needed.